Hi guys, XX Redstone for all here, and I'm going to start um, some new videos. I'm gonna, I'm still gonna be doing the videos on the CPU, but I'm also gonna be doing videos about other Redstone stuff, not necessarily large digital circuits, but more things that are on the small side and that you know are just more practical or anything like that. Um, I'm not saying I'm going to stop doing the CPU, but I'm also going to do some other stuff, so yeah. Um, in this video, I am going to show off a new, completely legit, completely reliable wireless redstone in Minecraft using command blocks. And so just to demonstrate, when I hit this button, as you can see there are no wires around here, I come over here and this output over here is on. Now if I come back over here and I hit this one, it turns it off. And I can keep doing that. So go over here, turn it on, turns on, and turn it off and so forth. So that's the demonstration demonstration yeah I can't talk can I? Demonstration, so um, yeah, so I'll show you how to build it. So first off, I'm going to build it in the air just to show you that there's no wirings anywhere else. Um, place my command block and just place a button on it and there. That is the whole transmitter. Just three blocks really. Then on the command block, what are you going to do? Scoreboard players add nearest player a1 which um, is the variable variable we're going to be using space one hit done then do slash scoreboard objectives add a1 dummy and then hit enter and since I already have one like that it's going to say an objective with the name A1 already exists but for you it should create a new one then uh, you have this set you're going to go over to wherever you want your um, your uh, receiver and you're going to place command block and you are going to set it up like this. So run two redstone like that, a block, run it out here, and one there. Put a comparator and right click it once, and run it there so that it makes a clock when you put a torch there. So every tenth of a second or every tick, um, this command block will be powered. And then we're going to have a comparator coming out of this side and then another block, and then another block, and a repeater, and redstone. So for this command block, we're going to set it for test for um, nearest player, bracket, score, underscore, a1 equals one, comma, score, underscore, a1 underscore min equals one end bracket. Hit done. So now that that's set, um, the output is on because I'm using the same variable that I used for this one. So I'm just gonna hit this reset over here so that it doesn't screw it up. And notice that that did turn it off. So you have the receiver and the transmitter and now you hit the button and the output turns on over here. Completely legit, completely reliable wireless. Um, and then if you want to have a reset function, you can have another one here, command block, put the button on it. And then this will be scoreboard players reset and then nearest player. 
whoops, done. So now when I hit this button, it will turn it off. And that is everything. It's impossible to do in survival, yes, because of the command blocks, but it's really cool because you can use it to substitute busing and all sorts of that kind of thing. And, you know, it's generally a really cool um, principle, um, wireless redstone. And this is a lot different from the last version of wireless redstone where basically you'd have a piston pushing really fast, um, pushing glass panes into a boat with a pressure plate, and that was completely unreliable. It could go off at random times. And I'm really pretty happy with this little contraption here because it could be useful for a lot of things. So I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.